Good day, fine people. A very warm welcome to you. My name is Nick from the Super Nintendo, or SNES if you will, and we're going to be playing Sensible Soccer uh, International Edition. So here's all the options here. We'll keep it on a beginner. Uh, in-game music. Well, I think we'll turn the in-game music off because that's a bit, a bit annoying, but we'll keep the menu stuff all pretty much the same. This has been published by, well, Sony Imagine Soft in 1994. The original game on the Amiga was published by Sensible uh, Software, so they're the developers here. And I think it follows, uh, well, you've got the World Cup there, Cup and a League, so I'll probably just jump into the World Championship. So here we go, it's football or soccer, where's England? Maybe England didn't qualify for the 1994 World Cup, I'll have to double check on that. So the nearest we can get is probably Ireland, so we'll be them. Republic of Ireland, let's see if we can win. So this won't be expert gameplay, probably. I won't be doing a full World Cup. We'll just see how we would have got on on your first or second go. Uh, Republic of Ireland's group is Italy, Mexico and Norway. Now, I used to play this on a joystick on a conventional Commodore Amiga. Uh, this is a little bit different. Different buttons to do different things, like tackling, a short pass and shooting. But will I get the hang of it? Well, I don't know. If you had this game back in the day, let me know. So there's my team. Aldridge, Cascarino up front, Steve Staunton, Andy Townsend, uh, Roy Keane's there as well, um, uh, amongst lots of other ones. Dennis Irwin. I'll keep the formation as 4-4-2. There's my opponents. Oh, God, that's a good team. Roberto Baggio, Donadoni, uh, Barese, Costa Curta. Well, I a good to well. Let's see. We are on beginner after all, so World Championship. I don't think the uh, Commodore Amiga had this screen before it. Italy versus Republic of Ireland. It's the 1994 World Cup. Ireland in green, that's me. Nick, please get control of it. Now at the moment it feels very similar to the Commodore Amiga version. Um, right, now quick. This might be the first football game I've played on the Super Nintendo, I can't remember. Right, here we go. Oh my god. I scored already, this is on easy mode. Italy has scored from the centre spot, that's a disaster. That's the worst possible start. First minute goal, so I'm on target to lose 90 nil. Right, just jump past the thing around. Come on, where's my midfield? Oh, who picked... Oh, it's almost another goal. Great save by Bonner. Let's try and get this back. That's a big kick there with that special button. I've done this diagonal shooting. We've cut it across. Come on, lads. Come on, we can get this. Bomb, 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 bomb. So you can play a bit of a passing game on this game if you get any uh, good at it. Come on, let's just control it. We're 1-0 down. It was a very bad start, but I was just warming up. All the players have got different colour hair. Oh! Oh, God. 2-0. Amiga didn't have that goal celebration either. We're 2-0 down. Oh, goodness. You get a replay after each one. Right, so... Signori scored two goals in the first and the 17th minute. This looks like on target to be a thrashing. I'm not going to get Ireland out of the groups like this, am I? So, published by Sony Imagesoft in 1994. Developed by Sensible Soccer. Don't let them score another goal. If you are from the Republic of Ireland, I do apologise. I'm not doing you very proud here. Maybe we'll... Oh! I'm getting a bit better. Maybe we'll do well in the next game. I'll, I'll play a couple of games of this, really. But I'm quite impressed with it so far. It plays pretty good. It's quite reflective of a Sensible World of Soccer. Or Sensible Soccer, even. It takes a while to get used to the different button configuration if you're used to playing this on the Commodore Amiga, but it's certainly doable. I think if I was playing this for quite a while, I'd get a little bit better at the thing. Um, yeah, it's a good representation, a good accurate uh, play of Sensible Soccer, the engine there. It's a good old football game. One of the best, I would have to say. Good. So it's good to see Sensible Soccer on other systems, it sure is. On the Commodore Amiga, I, I prefer slightly kick off too, but that was me. Right, come on now. Come on, Ireland. I'm getting more of the ball gradually. I've just got to improve my passing game. Italy 2. Republic of Ireland. Neil, is that a chance? No. Oh, lots of aftertouch. That's the, that's the uh, closest I got so far. I think I might be better at kicking up, maybe. Swerve? Oh, I, I could get a goal here. So the whole idea of the review, then, is to try and get a goal at least somewhere. If you're liking the channel and you've watched this far into the video of my poor football ability, then please consider subscribing. It might be that you like this kind of rubbish. A uh, big thank you to those who subscribed so far, in particular if you've been subscribed a long, long time. That does help. Right, let's kick it. We're going up the field now. Through ball? No. Let's not let Italy... Uh, so Italy got two quick goals, the first and the 17th minute. We seem to have held uh, on a little bit after that point. 
Oh no! Good save. Good save, Bonner. So they've got a corner. Let's not let them score from here. Come on, team. Signori, two goals. He's trying to get his hat trick. You can do substitutions somehow. So just to come over, you've got the World Cup. You can do friendlies and just set up normal cups. There's club teams as well. Shoot! Yes! Goal! There's club teams as well. Uh, I think this is fully licensed. You've got all the proper player names, all the proper team names there. And I'm 2-1. Good. The review says Cascarino knocks it in. I think that's Tony Cascarino. Well done, Cascarino. Can we get this back now? Shoot! No, a bit of aftertouch, and that would have gone in, I think. Right, good header. We're coming in. It was a slow start by us, us boys. But uh, the World Cup is on again. Good. Shoot. Oh. I th I, we just need a bit of luck here, and I think we can get it. Uh, Italy are looking second best now, despite their early lead on us. Oh, I was saying that. Don't speak too soon. Uh, it's probably uh, you've probably got your favourite formation on this and your ways of scoring goals. Oh, I, I pressed the wrong button there. So I pressed the, like the pass button instead of the shoot button. Good. Oh, I was just about to shoot and I got tackled at the right p wrong point there. Oh, they're through. Two one. Time must be almost running out here. Come on, lads. Come on. Come on, Ireland. I think in the actual World Cup, I think this ended up. Did Italy win this game in the World Cup? 1-0, I think, maybe. Maybe it was 1-0. I think it was 1-0. It was like a, it's like a shock win, but then Italy went and got to the final anyway. Shoot! Yes! Oh, that's a crossbar! I'll replay that. That was the underside of the crossbar. So, so close from making it 2-2 from a shock 2-0 down. Well, we come back strongly there. That bodes well for the rest of the World Cup. I, I believe we may play Mexico uh, next, but anyway, right, okay, I don't know why it's, only, why it's doing two points for a win, the World Cup is three points, so that's a mistake there, Cameroon 2, Norway, Mexico, Mexico beaten Norway, so check out these results, what, did they actually, 6-3, did they actually fall that way in the World Cup, I can't remember that far back. Now, Mexico, so Italy were the, the toughest uh, team in our group there, and we come back strong. If I was to the whole World Cup, I think I'd probably get out of that group. I think the top two qualify, and then there's some third place ones maybe as well. Colombia beat the USA. Switzerland, Romania, 0 0. Bolivia, South Korea, 1 1. Italy, Norway. Oh, Norway beat Italy there. Well, that makes the group interesting then. Oh, God, that makes it very interesting. That puts us plum last, though, but we still got to play in Mexico. Brazil narrowly beat Cameroon. Hope you're liking this. Uh, big thank you to the uh, members. I will we'll try and put up as much content as I possibly can, but it's darn tricky. It is darn tricky to keep the thing going the whole time at the speed it does go. So thank you for your support. Thank you for any comments there, uh, any football trivia. That, uh, you know, is going to go and help in the grand scheme of things. The problem is there's so many, thousands and thousands of YouTube channels, especially doing the same thing that I'm doing, so it's very hard to get noted and then actually to grow. Right. Boof. Mexico in white. I'm in green. Let's not go Let's not go a uh, goal down early. Let's try and do it. So I'm kicking down, first of all, like I did in the first game. Get off to a good start and we're, when I should be uh, there. Don't let them shoot. Right, come on, come on, let's just pass it around. Uh, I think it's one of those games as well, as soon as you le learn a few good ways to, to score goals, you can keep repeating that over and over. They're quick to get the tackles in, this Mexican's mob. No! Oh, that was a bad shot. They were miles away. Right, come on. Just quick passing is probably the way to go. That's a terrible, terrible pass. Yeah, I've done a few boo-boos here. No wonder Italy scored... Guess. Oh, long range shot there. Went narrowly over the bar. Don't think the goalkeeper had that in. We're well cupping, folks. And the sensible world of swelled of soccer that came out on the Commodore and Amiga. I'm not sure it came out on the SNES, though, where you could play any team in the whole world, essentially. They was, was all there. Oh! God dear me. Bloke doing a bit of a little bit of trickiness. Not sure how Mexico did in the 1994 World Cup. If you know, let me know. Did they get out of the groups? Narrow shot over the bar. The keeper was underneath that. So 31 minutes then. We're playing three minutes each way. Um, but you can set it. You saw in the options at the start. 
uh, you can set it for different. There's different pitch types as well here. Um, we switched it to seasonal, but you can switch it to different types as well for you, which uh, makes the ball behave a little bit differently uh, each time. Oh, I was hoping to do a bit of a spin. The ball attaches to your feet a little bit uh, better than a lot of uh, football games. Chances. Oh, a terrible shot. That was a weak one. That was a weak one right across the grass. It's nil nil at half time. A draw would be no good uh, for qualifying in this, but yeah, actually, you might be able to get away with it because they've done it wrong, like two points for a win. World Cup is three points for a win, so I, I, I don't know why that's happened. It sounds like a bit of a big boo boo uh, unless they release, uh, I don't know, a patch. Can you have a cartridge patch? I don't probably know it. Come on, Ireland. Come on. Let's at least win one game. Or at least not lose. I've scored one goal. Tony Cascarino is our top goal scorer. Come on, Tony. Oh, not with shots like that. Roy Keane's not really getting involved too much in this. Normally he's a bit of a bully boy bullying the midfield. But he seems to be out to lunch here. Number seven, who's that? Shoot! No. I'm just trying to rep uh, recreate that goal I scored against uh, Italy. Well, we, we didn't have any aftertouch on that one and shot from some way out and it just happened to go in. That's the power of the Cascarino. If you are Tony Cascarino, then comment in the comment section below was that accurate of your normal prowess and shots. All right, don't let them score. It's a good corner. Oh, no! Oh, they've got it in from the corner. Unmarked on the back post. Knocked it straight in past the keeper. It's a disaster. Mexico won, Ziguinho. Mexico won, Ireland nil. Boo, 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 boo. Well, just this long ball game. Yes, no, yes, no. Come on, come on. We're angry now. Don't let them score another goal. Well, we held out longer than we did in the Italy game. That was a shame. Yes, goal. Du, 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 du. The comeback is there. Tell you, folks, who was that? Was that Cascarino again? It was the number nine. One, one. Ireland are back in it from nowhere. 73. It was Cascarino. Come on. Right, this is all to play for now. We're on a roll. Don't let Mexico score. It could go either way, this. It's a game of two halves. Boof. Yes! That's the greatest goal ever. Look at this. Is that a, is that a glancing header? Who's, I'm not sure if he scored from the halfway line or it was a glancing header. Two great goals. Back to back. 2 1. 74 and 78. That was uh, John Aldridge. Aldridge, Aldridge, not to get confused with Ostridge. Well, if you're from Ireland, hopefully I've got that back for you. It's 2-1. What a great game this is. A great match. Mexico took an early, well, took a, a late lead in the second half. Second half is much more exciting than the first one, but Ireland are in, are in, are in play here. They have a great chance of going through the groups. Oh, Ireland, can't be too much time left here. Mexico are getting worried. They won their first game. That's going to put every team in the group on two points. So the third game is paramount. Paramount Ireland have every chance of qualifying for the third round. If we were to play another game. Good. 2-1. Get that. This is a great representation of sensible soccer. Really rewarding once you're getting the goals. And that second goal I got was absolutely fantastic. Look at that. All on the twos. Great game. Well, hopefully I've given you a bit of a flavour of that if you want to track it down. So, yeah, really, really cool game. Good on the Amiga. Great on the Super Nintendo as well, which is good to see. So, I hope you liked having a look at that one. I chose not to have music playing in the game because it would have been a bit annoying, but you can have that on if you want. So, that was Sensible Soccer on the Super Nintendo, the International Edition, published by Sony ImageSoft in 1994. If you've got any comments about this game, similar games, or anything retro, then please put that below. You're always more than welcome. Until next time, take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.